Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. This is Jimmy Zell. We want to welcome you to our Thirsty Thursday morning brew call. So excited to have every single one of you on here. It has just been absolutely a great week uh, coming back from our Alaskan cruise. And uh, But just, I tell you, the, the vibe, the energy from everybody uh, is absolutely amazing. And today I'm going to cover something that many of you are probably familiar with. But, you know, we've got lots of new people that are constantly looking at network marketing. They're looking at this industry and, and wondering, what is it all about? You know, what, uh, you, you know, why should I even look at it? Why should I even join? And what I want you to do is, is keep this call. You can use it later. Uh, share it with people that are, are looking at this uh, uh, incredible industry. And, uh, you know, I'll share with you my brief story so you kind of understand why I'm so in love with this industry. You know, I used to be one of those dads that uh, was in corporate America, uh, and I had a great, honestly, I had an awesome job that, that paid me lots of money from, 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 a, uh, from a, a financial standpoint. Uh, at a very young age, I was able to make high six-figure income, but there were some things about that model that just didn't uh, work well. Uh, one is that they started to dictate to me when I could spend time with my uh, kids. They were younger at that time, and it started to affect me uh, mentally, and there was many days where, where I would just be so mentally drained that uh, you know I, I'd literally be at the kitchen table giving my family what I call the leftovers. And uh, if any of you dads know what I'm talking about, if that maybe hit a nerve with you, I, I know exactly how you feel because I was there. And, and and to have somebody to dictate those type of things to you, whether you know you, you can go and, and, and enjoy you know uh, the the, the, uh, the what do they call it the game day at school. You know, where field day and, and you can't go or field trips and, and uh, you know, when, when you have a young family, those are things that you just don't want to miss out on. And, and so the, I, I found this industry uh, about 12 years ago and uh, I met a gentleman that really uh, rocked my world. The gentleman was making a, a seven-figure income, had an incredible lifestyle. And I asked him, I said, you know, you know I want to do that. How do I get out of this uh, job and, and, and be able to do that kind of a lifestyle, to have that kind of freedom? And, and my next question was, how quickly can I do it? And his response to me was, it really depends upon you. And I was very, very fortunate, you know, uh, after about 13 months being able to go uh, replace that income and go full time and, and just uh, I've loved the industry ever since. I've been very fortunate and blessed to travel the world and, and see a lot of uh, things, do a lot of things that most people would dream about. And, and so today what I want to do is I want to cover a topic with all of you, why, what I believe why almost everyone, I said almost everyone, should do network marketing, okay? Why, uh, and so, you know, the thing about network marketing is that, you know, if, if you're looking at it, it's an incredible way to be in business for yourself with, with minimal costs. Okay. Many many people get started uh, in this industry for for you know they get even start for less than a hundred dollars, uh, you know up to several thousands of dollars, but that cost is still uh, uh, you, you know much better uh, than, than hundreds of thousands of dollars to start your own business. Right? There's very low overhead. Uh, many of you are already involved in the industry or looking at, it, but but you know if you just do your monthly expenses and your fixed expenses, uh, there's very low overhead to get started. You know, you might be, you might consider your auto ship, uh, you know, for sampling, uh, you know, a, as an overhead. Maybe your computer, your internet, and things like that. But, but th those are those are things that are, uh, you, you know, uh, minimal compared to owning your own business, uh, you know, a traditional business. There's there's uh, also a lot of uh, or less risk than a traditional business, and you, you know, because you're not investing hundreds of thousands of dollars. And one of the things about it, too, is there's also some incredible tax benefits by being involved uh, with your own home-based business and involved in network marketing. And one of the things, though, that, that's been uh, very exciting to see, just like when franchising first started out, there was a lot of, uh, it was a disruption in, in the business community. It, was, uh, it wasn't well received. It actually had a lot of pushback and a lot of resistance from uh, the market, you know, the marketplace. And, and network marketing has experienced some of that as well, right? Because anytime you're going to disrupt business models and, 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 and cause a shift or a change in people's thinking, there's always going to be some resistance. But one of the things about this industry is that we've seen just within, seriously, the last, really, the decade, uh, we've seen a tremendous amount of uh, huge supporters. 
uh, people like, you know, the, the Donald Trumps of the world, the Richard Bransons of the world, the Robert Kiyosaki's of the world, and, and uh, the Richard Dents of the world. You know, th- these are gentlemen that uh, understand economics, they understand business, they understand, you know, uh, they're the already proven successes. And, and they understand this is one of the greatest business models for the average person to be able to get started in business for themselves and to go out there and, and, and work and, and be able to, uh, you know, even start part-time and create themselves uh, some additional income or even complete freedom. And one of the things I love about this industry is that if you just think about it, when you join a company, whether you paid $100 or you paid a couple of thousand dollars, you know, you, you, you're basically getting – what I call a business, uh, basically a business in a box. You know, you, you, you sign that, uh, you know, declaration of independence uh, for yourself and, and, and you went to work and, and you picked up, though, uh, you know, a, a, a company that has an accounting department, a company that has a customer service department, a company that has a marketing department, a company that has a legal team, you know, uh, shipping and operations. And I want you just to think about that. If you start to add all of that up, uh, uh, you know, a social media department, if you start adding up all those things that it would take for you to personally start a business with all those things, it could literally cost you tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? And that all comes uh, with, with your business when you get started here. And so that's what I love about uh, network marketing is because, like I said, the average person can literally put themselves in business and have an incredible support team uh, to be able to help them. Now, let's talk about something, who, uh, the, the, you know, people that should consider network marketing. Remember, I said why almost everyone should do network marketing. I didn't say everybody should, why almost everyone should. Now, let's talk about, though, who should consider network marketing. First of all, I think one category that's, that, that should absolutely consider network marketing is any small business owner, okay? All small business owners should take a look at network marketing. Here's why. It creates another profit stream for them, all right? It creates another profit stream for them. And, and, and what, what it does for them, though, is that it also can help them with some free marketing. You know, many, many business owners have rooms or they have a, a service that they can offer. Maybe it's catering. Maybe it's flowers. Maybe it's, uh, they have a coffee shop. Maybe it's, uh, they have rooms in their, in, in their business. And, you know, it's great free marketing, right? And because of the, the associations of people on the team, you know, people ask, you know, hey, what do you do for a living? Oh, you know, we, we, we're the ones that own the flower shop at the corner, right? And, and because they're so exposed to a bunch of people that love the network, it's great marketing for them, all right? And, and you know, we, 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 we even enroll people that have restaurants, right? And they, and they might hold our, our, our luncheons for the week. Great exposure for them. Okay. Many, of you, many of you have, have seen this, where, where you've got people that, that offer services or have locations where the team, you know, supports them, right? If someone opens up their restaurant and they've got a meeting room, that's great exposure for a bunch of people that all they do is word-of-mouth advertising, right? So, it, so it's a great reason why a business owner should. The other reason is, is I've had many conversations. One of the things that I talk to business owners about is I'll say, hey, John, listen. I know you've got a profitable business, but let me ask you a serious question here. You know, John, if you were to be incapacitated, unable to work for six months, what would it do to your business? If you were unable to work for the next six months, what would it do? You know, a lot of times those business owners get real quiet because they don't really think about it. Right? They're like, well, it, it'd probably be devastating. Probably, you know, end up losing the business because I'm, you know, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the driver. I'm the one that, that, that drives the business. And they get real quiet, and I say, well, you know what, that's why you should do our business, because it gives you another, it gives you a sense of protection you have a plan B if something were to happen, right? It gives them that opportunity that, that you have a plan B in place, where if something happened to that plan A, they could easily switch over, or they would, of course, like I said in the beginning, they could bring in that extra source of profit. So, so business owners, all small business owners, are great candidates, they should absolutely consider doing network marketing. The second uh, group of people should be all salespeople. That's right, all salespeople. Here's why. Let me give you some reasons why they, they should do it. First of all, you know, salespeople, they, they promote and they sell, you know, products and services. And unfortunately, they, that most people, you know, if you just think about a typical salesperson, most of the time they're getting rejected 
uh, for their product and service, meaning that not, not you know uh, the likelihood of 100% of people buying their products and services, uh, uh, it, it, you know, is, is very slim. You know, they really do the numbers. A typical salesperson knows that they got to make 100 calls to get, you know, two customers or five customers or 10 customers, right? And, and, and so what ends up happening is, is that their work marketing gives them another opportunity when they find somebody great to go back to and talk about business. Talk about a business option. Talk about uh, products that could help them get healthy, right? And, and, and so that, that's, uh, you know, one of the major reasons why uh, salespeople should definitely consider network marketing. Another reason is, is that, you know, sales and business can be cyclical, okay? And if someone, if a sales guy goes into a slump uh, and they're just literally struggling along, you, you know, if they had another source of income for them, uh, they could they, they they could pick it up once again uh, during that slow time, because we know that that you know business and 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 and, 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 and there's, there's cycles to it, right? And one of the things that that, that salespeople uh, should do is you know definitely not put all their eggs in just that one basket, right? Uh, because it's something they can't control. It's not their own business, and so of course network marketing makes sense. Another reason is that you know most salespeople or what I call transaction-based. They, they sell it, right? Uh, they, you know, get car, car salespeople, they sell that car. Guess what? Tomorrow, uh, the, the, you know, they're going to go sell another one. You, you, you know, they, they might be the top sales guy uh, in the month of July, but if they don't get out there and hustle in August, they're starving, right? And so they, they sell that one time, and they have to keep selling. And what network marketing can do, if you don't know, already is that you can start to build a business and here's what's great. I'm still earning commissions from pe from people that I've met or done business with in the very beginning of my business. Okay? And so when someone gets started in the first three months, you know, they they could literally, in those first ninety days of them launching that business, they could earn income from those people for the rest of their career inside of a network marketing company. Right? And and, and so so salespeople, you know, uh, 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 being transaction-based is great for them to, to, to really create another source of income, another profit stream, another residual type of business. And then the other thing is salespeople, uh, they just have some skills. Uh, you know, I always, uh, you've heard this saying, you know, uh, uh, coffee is for closers, right? And, and salespeople, good salespeople, they've got people skills, they've got communication skills, they, they listen well, they know how to, how to present something that's going to, uh, you know, really help the consumer. And, and, you know, I have a saying that says, timid salespeople have skinny kids. And, and, and the, really the reality is this, most good salespeople, right, if they've got those skills, uh, you, you know, those skills are very transferable right into our industry because you've got to have some people skills. You've got to have communication skills, organization skills, and good salespeople have that. I mean, think about some of the best realtors you know, best insurance agents you know. The reason why is that they're persistent, they're consistent. They have a lot of the skills that it takes to be successful in network marketing. So all, all salespeople, all right, absolutely should do network marketing, okay? Now, there's another category of people, and these are the people that, that, that uh, many of us will meet, all right? And this is anyone that hates their job. Anyone that hates their job should, should consider doing network marketing. Because see, the reality is this. Most people in a job situation, the only way for them to ever be able to get out of there is that they've got to replace that income. Okay, just like me, when I was telling you in the very beginning, you know, I was one of those guys that, that was, had that, you know, burning desire to make a change. These people, uh, uh, you know, you're looking for these type of people because, you know, the reality is someone that, that hates their job, dreads, you know, they have the Sunday night blues, you know, they get that feeling in the pit of their stomach on Sunday night, they don't want to go to work, right? Uh, they're, 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 you know, they're, they're dreading it. Uh, those are people you're looking for. I don't know if you know this, but Monday mornings from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m., it's documented now that more heart attacks happen on Monday morning from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. than any other time of the week. And do you know why? Because people are dreading going to work. They're dreading have to put that key in their car, pull out of their garage, and get in traffic and wait for hour, you know, 30 minutes to an hour driving to work. 
they're dreading having to walk into an office where they've got a boss that that, that really uh, uh, disrespects them and disvalues what they're worth. You know, in a society today where where so many people, and I'm not knocking jobs because we we got to have them, and, and I believe that there's a lot of great jobs out there. You know, this is what I said: is we're looking, you know, people that uh, hate their job, they're looking for that change, right? And because, you know, the reality is this, in today's world, uh, we know it's a, it's a different time. And we know that people, you know, are, 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 many of us were taught to go to school and, you know, uh, you're just like me. Go, go to school and get your education. Be one of the first ones in our families. You get your college degree. And then what ends up happening is you graduate, and most people that are 21, 22, 23 graduate from college, and they get out into the workplace and somebody puts a price tag on their head. And they say, this is what you're worth. And they'll say, you know, uh, you know you're, you're going to be an engineer, so, you know, your, your, your value is $60,000 a year. All right, start now. Uh, you're going to be a teacher. We're going to pay you $35,000 a year. That's what your value is. And, 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 folks, people buy into that, and what they do is they'll go and work, and they'll go and work, and they'll go and work, and they'll give their best years to somebody else. They'll give their best hard-working years for decades and decades and decades and decades to retire to what? To retire to a watch, a, 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 a cheesy, a, a, you know, <laughs> retirement party. And, and, and so one of the things that I always tell people is why wait till you're 65? Who set the, who set the retirement age? It sure wasn't an entrepreneur, right? And so you're looking for somebody that really understands that, you know what, there, there is something different. There is something more, you know, more for me in my life. I can go and create the freedoms I want. I can go create the lifestyle I want. I can create the, the things that my family desires. So it takes a decision. All right? And, and, and so those people should absolutely consider network marketing. People that are, that, that when you're talking to them, they talk about they're, they're working three jobs you know, just to make the, make the uh, you know, pay the bills. They talk about, you know, how, they're, how they have, you know, their salary or their, their income has been frozen for a year and a half at the same company and they're not getting any pay raises or it's not looking any better. They're, they're the ones that talk about, you know, I haven't had a vacation in five years or ten years. Haven't even went outside their state because, you know what, they got the Sunday night blues, they go to work Monday through Friday, they rest on Saturday. They go to church on Sunday, and Sunday night they got the Sunday night blues again. See, those are the people we're looking for, All right? Now, let me tell you who shouldn't do network marketing, okay? Now, some of you, this might hit a chord with, and, and, and you know what? The great thing is you can make a decision and change that. But there are absolutely some people, and these are the people I don't uh, really spend a lot of time with. Uh, I, you, know, you know, I don't, I don't really want to uh, uh, basically, you know, time's valuable, waste my time with these type of people. These are the people who shouldn't do network marketing, okay? First person is somebody who's lazy. You'll never make it in network marketing if you're lazy. Folks, no one's going to pick you, no one's going to call you and tell you to go to work. Mark Petro doesn't call me in the morning and say, Jimmy, you got to go talk to some people today. He doesn't do that. You know, I don't pick up the phone and call Gilbert Font to go and say, Gilbert, you got to, you got to move those quarters over today. I, we don't do that. All right. If you're lazy, you're going to struggle on network marketing. You might love the products, you might enjoy them, but you're going to struggle on network marketing. Most entrepreneurs, there's no time schedule. See, see, someone that that wants it, they're going to work until it gets done. They're going to work until it gets done. And many of you are, are starting part time, and, and the hours that you put in, the three to five hours, the you know, uh, uh, ten hours, fifteen hours a week that you put in, work your business. Don't just pass paper around. You know, do activity. You, you know, do parties, do one on ones, do uh, uh, launch calls, do three-way calls, right? But you can't be lazy. You won't make it a network party. The second group of people are people that are what I call wimps, right, or wussies. These are people that just, you know, they're, they're just, you can just tell. They're not, uh, they got to work on themselves. Uh, they're, they're very emotional about things. Oh, well, well, this is, you know, my upline didn't call me back. 
uh, you know, it took them like two hours to call me back. Well, you know what? Uh, the, the, they're running their business too. Well, my, my, my product came two days late. You know, my, 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 uh, I was on hold for, for 30 minutes. Guys, come on. You, you got to be emotionally tough if you're going to make it in network marketing. You know, one thing about Mark Peschel I love about the guy is that he's emotionally tough. You know, he, he, he's been through three years with his present company, with Sozo, and just, just going through the things. He's, he's a mentally tough person. That's what it takes to be successful. When others were, when others were uh, uh, you know, whining and complaining and, and not giving solutions, he was being tough, right? Another person that shouldn't join network market is somebody that has unrealistic expectations. Guys, this is not a lottery. You didn't just sign up and you, all of a sudden you're going to be rich. You got to go to work. You know, uh, you, you know, you're, you're talking to people and you, you go, oh boy, if I could just get, if I could just get that Michelle Johns in my group, it'd be over. You know, be real. Sometimes you have to go, it takes a while to find, you know, those, those people that are, that have that burning desire to go build. But, but you gotta, you gotta be realistic. This isn't a, a get rich overnight scheme, but it could potentially be get rich the rest of your life. All right? You gotta set realistic. It's not. It's not. I, I tell people, hey, you've got to give it 18 months to two years minimum for all of you brand new just getting started. You can't just expect to be making a six-figure income, uh, you know, in your first 90 days. It, it, it could have happened, absolutely. All right, but is it probable? No, uh, well, probably not. All right, and so so you've got to have those realistic expectations. Okay. Another uh, group of people that shouldn't join network marketing are people that are negative. Man, that, these, are, these are the people that just literally will drain a team, they'll drain uh, team members, they'll drain the company. You know, they, they, they're never happy. When, when I, when these type of people, very quickly, uh, I, I recognize, and, and you know, honestly, I limit my time with them. And the reason why is because, you know what, you just don't have time to be around negative people. You're gonna, sometimes you've got to cut those people out. You've got to limit your time with them because, you know what, they'll drain you. And when you're making runs in network marketing, you can't make excuses and you can't let other people make excuses either. You've got to be convicted and you've got to be strong in what you're doing. So people that are negative. They're, they're going to struggle in network marketing. Another group of people, these are the people that think they know it all. Ladies and gentlemen, when I first got involved in network marketing, I was, a, I was the youngest guy. Uh, I wasn't even old enough to rent a car, and they hired me to be a sharpshooter to go in and literally steal accounts back from one of our competitors uh, and, and, and uh, had an 85% closing ratio with CEOs and presidents of, of Fortune 500 companies to put our program in with Reader's Digest. And I had this huge ego. I, knew, I was new at all. And so when I got involved in network marketing, my mentor said, Jimmy, you've got to start doing these three-way calls with me. Now, this guy was making a million plus a year. And I said, oh, you know, <laughs> I don't really need to do all that. I mean, listen, I, I, you know, I close deals all the time, and, you know, I, I sit in front. I've been, you know, all over traveling and closing for our company. You, you know, I don't need none of that. I was a know-it-all. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, when I made that switch mentally, to listen to that mentor, to be coachable, to get counsel consistently is when my business changed, and I actually went to the top of that company. People that think they know it all in a new industry for them, they're going to struggle. Folks, one of the things I can, I can tell you is this. You don't have to reinvent the wheel here. There's nothing new to network marketing. Don't, don't buy into this stuff. Someone's selling you a program that there's this new fancy duper dance, you know, there's, no, there's not. Network marketing is about relationships and it's about people. It's about, about helping people grow. It doesn't change. It hasn't changed from, you know, for over 100 years now. I mean, heck, think about, actually, it hasn't changed over 2,000 years. The greatest networker of all time. We started with three and built an incredible relationship. Those three went to 12, built an uh, even greater relationship, and those 12 have now turned into hundreds and hundreds of millions and billions of people around the world over time. So people that think they know it all, be careful of those people. Be strong in your conviction, lean on your leadership team, and, and people that have the experience within the company 
and, and, and make sure that they understand. But you know, the great thing is you don't have to know it all either. You can be brand new to this industry, and because you're plugging into a great team, a great system, you can succeed here. All right? And the last group of people that shouldn't do network marketing is someone that's constantly seeking approval from other people, someone that's constantly uh, trying to, to get, uh, uh, you know, make everyone happy and, 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 and you know, make people's uh, opinions of them, believe in other people's opinions. Folks, it's going to be tough. Because anybody great in the world, anybody that's ever wanted to change the world, they've never bought into other people's opinions. They bought into their convictions and their beliefs. They led. They didn't follow. And when you're trying to constantly seek acceptance and approval from other people, it will be very difficult for you to build your business because you'll get rattled. You'll get, you'll get shaken. You, you, you'll start to question your, your ability and yourself, your company, uh, the, the products your team. And so you've got to be very, very careful with this one as well. Quit trying to make everybody happy. If you know your why, if you know why you're doing this, then you've got to go all out for it and not worry about what other people think. You know, I, you know you're going to have some haters, and that's okay. You know, that, well, he, he's on his, he, he, he's on his uh, sixth company now. Great. He's trying to figure it out. You know how many companies Mark Cuban has failed in? You know how many, how many, I mean, there's so many entrepreneurs that, 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 that keep going and they keep going and they keep going and they keep going. They keep going and they keep going. And just like what Mark Cuban says, you only got to find that one. And when they do, folks, and you find that one, you got to go all in and you got to take advantage of it. All right? And, and so I hope today something uh, uh, you, you know, uh, has helped you out and why, why almost everyone should do network marketing, okay? Because, because the reality is this. I love this industry. I love the friends I have in this industry, uh, uh, whether they're in our company or not. Uh, uh, I, I, I've met some of the greatest people in the world that share the same vision and values and, and purpose and, and love people and constantly meeting people. And, 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 you know, uh, those, th- this industry, those intangibles that come with it, being able to travel the world with some of the greatest people in the world, uh, is it, 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 something you just can't put a price tag on. Right? And so, uh, you know, this is our Thursday, Thursday edition call. We do these morning boot calls every single day, Monday through Friday. And, and you know, definitely get, make sure you get plugged in. We've got calls uh, going on every single day to help you build your business. Right? And so before I wrap it up, though, let me just, uh, anybody that wants to add anything to this call, hit uh, star two, raise your hand, and I'd love to hear from a few of our key leaders if they want to add anything to this call. So go ahead. Hey, Jimmy, you hear me? Hey, Gilbert, go ahead. Hey, brother. Great call. Wow. Wow. I got goosebumps every time, man. You bring always great value. And uh, just... uh, to follow up what you said about the kids, that's what I saw many years ago. Well, actually, before my first son was born, I, uh, I had an old mentor of mine and uh, that taught me how to be an entrepreneur. And one thing that was the most valuable lesson I learned from him wasn't so much how to be an entrepreneur. It was how to be a, the father and be there for your kids because he never saw his kids uh, grow up because he was always out on the road working, building businesses, a, mo- a millionaire. You know, and that's what, what stuck with me, and that's what I decided. Yeah, I definitely want to be an entrepreneur. I want to be there for my kids, but I want to, you know, not be on the road traveling. You know, I want to be there for them, and that's what I've been able to do thanks to being an entrepreneur and now the last couple of years being in network marketing that I'm able to be free. You know, I, I might not be rich yet and have a lot of money, but I feel that I'm rich because I own my own time, and I'm able to be there for my kids, and, and especially being a single father more. You know, that because they, kids nowadays definitely need to have that parent, uh, you know, basically on top of them because if not, they start going into the wrong path and getting into the wrong things. So, you know, I definitely uh, uh, renegade with you, you know, with your story and, uh, you know, and how to, you know, that if made you become an entrepreneur and, and where it has brought you today. So, and everything else that you said, I mean, in this call has just, it's been great, you know, uh, talking about who should do network marketing and who, and who shouldn't. And, 
And one thing that you touched about the the people that are always worried about, you know, other people's approval, you know, those are people that have low self-esteem of themselves. They're always worried about, you know, who liked on their posts or who commented and who didn't call them back and, and all that stuff. And that definitely doesn't work in this industry, you know. So uh, with that being said, I don't want to take up no more time. I know there's other people that have raised their hands. So, uh, Jimmy, once again, great call. Thank you for the value you bring us, man. I really appreciate you. I love you, brother. And thank you so much. Have a great day. Back to you. Uh, absolutely, Gil. I appreciate you, buddy. And your story is uh, is, is amazing. You know, another dad that, that really just wants more for his family. And, and uh, Gil, keep up the good work, buddy. Uh, we've got someone out in Washington. Uh, hey, guys. Can Washington. you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Hey, this is Chelsea Langell from Everett. Um, hey, Chelsea. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much, Jimmy. Um and Gilbert, and uh, that information was, I, I was moved this morning. I was definitely moved. Um, you practically explained exactly what I have been trying to. Uh, my personal team is growing, and I'm so excited. I was thanked and acknowledged the other day by the person that uh, that I and my business partner introduced to the company and, uh, you know, said, you know, thank you for, for helping me do this and finding my way because, you know, you know, we all have our stories, but um, I just, I'm so thankful for this company. I, uh, the business aspect of it all is just absolutely amazing. None like anything I've ever seen. I actually got into a debate on Facebook I don't know if anybody's seen that, but uh, it was with this with this gentleman, and I actually ended up IMing him, and him and I talked about it for a little while, and so he gave me a moment of his time, and I told him uh, I told him I said, okay, well, you know, just thank you for letting us uh, sort you out, and I stood strong because, and I realized right then, like he absolutely and truthfully did not get to me. And that's when I was able to stand up and realize that I am making a difference for people. And um, I just, with all of us as a team, I, I can't believe I'm a part of it. <laughs> it's so it's so cool. I'm very thankful for it. So I just, I don't want to take too much time, but I just wanted anybody who's on this call, um, thank you for staying on a little longer. And just know that I, like, oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I am so grateful to be a part of this team because we're all one, regardless of whose personal teams you're on or who you're under, or who, you know, you're sponsoring. It doesn't matter. You know, we all we all learn and we all mentor each other on the calls and we all learn value and, and gain wisdom. And it's just absolutely amazing. I, I, I smile in my car randomly every day just because I'm a part of the team. So thank you, you guys. Back to you. <laughs> Awesome, Chelsea. And, you know, Chelsea's one of our rising superstars, a young entrepreneur, and uh, just love what she's doing. So great job, Chelsea, and thanks for those comments. Oh, um, I'm so go, sorry. One, one, one more thing. I, I, I just want to say one more thing. I intend on making that uh, 30 under 30 team, and <laughs> I, I hope everybody's ready for that. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. And, you know, 30, 30 millionaires under 30 uh, years of age, and, and that, that's one of the goals here as well. So, Chelsea, keep up the good work. We're super proud of you. Thank you. Thank Very you. Good. Very good. Hey, let's go ahead and close with one last one here. Uh, Mr. Mark Petchel, is that you? Hey, Jimmy, thank you so much. And uh, you, you just really hit it home. And I, I looked at your post today on on Facebook. And, you know, part of being a leader, and I know you kind of commented on this, is sometimes you got to start over. You know, things don't go always the right way or they don't go as fast as you want. And if you look at some of the stories that Jimmy posted about Colonel Sanders and everyone else, you got to start over to, to find, to, to, to just hit your stride. And, you know, we all know Sozo's uh, kind of a, still, a, I, I would, it's a growth company, but it's still developing some stuff. And sometimes it doesn't do what, you, you want or in the time frame, guys, just you've got to keep moving on, and it will work. I am convinced Sozo will be here for a long, long time, and you have found a home. Just just, just go out there. And hit. I talked to somebody before this call, and it, it really was, we kind of put it in perspective. 
everybody's thinking so big about Sozo, you know, and and we all want to grow these global teams and and really make a lot of money. But what you got to do, honestly, is think small. Now, I want you to dream big, but think small. And if everybody, think about this, if everybody just did the play, which is two customers or three distributors, or to get on the trip right now, I'm just going to let everybody know there's a secret, go out and get five preferred customers. Do you know you get on the trip? So if everybody in Sozo went out and got five customers, five preferred customers, even customers, this company would be five times the size it is today. And everybody's check (coughs) would grow. And we would put the company into growth and momentum. That's how simple it really is. And if we all think that way, we can all uh, have tremendous momentum and growth in in, in your business. So, so I didn't want to go any much further, uh, Jimmy, but I took a lot of notes. A very, very, uh, I think a very deep call. I think people need to, to listen to this a few times because it is what network marketing is about. And uh, thank you so much, Jimmy. Wonderful call. and. Uh, I look forward to Thursday Thursdays every 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 week. So thanks. Absolutely, but I appreciate you and your leadership, Mark. There's no doubt you're uh, one of the best of the best, and we appreciate you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this call uh, helped you out today, and uh, uh, we're going to go out with a bang. You know, it's Thursday. You've got a couple of days here to close out the week, run the play uh, for all of you that are, are guests, maybe outside of our community. Get with the person that invites you on this call, you know, and, and find out more. You know, find out why why you should be involved or, or uh, you know, involved in network marketing in this great company, Sozo uh, Global. And so with that, everybody, we're going to go interactive. And I'll, I want you guys to blow up these lines today. And, uh, and I want you guys to have a, it's confession time, all right? I want you to tell everybody that you love network marketing. Say, I love network marketing on a count of three. And let's blow out these lines. So on a count of three, everybody, I love network marketing. One, two, three. I love, I love network, network marketing. marketing. Network marketing. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great day. We'll talk to you on the next call. God bless, everybody. <laughs>